Uh, in this video, I will talk about how to use Velocity Keyboard together with Swam Cello, and I hope this, this will apply to other Swam instruments. Um, I just bought this uh, Swam Cello today, and I haven't mastered it yet, but uh, I think I've got enough to tell you that we can get started. So I'm here in an app called AUM. Um, this stuff should work if you're running these as standalone too, but I, I like AUM because it's convenient for switching between the two apps. So I'll open up Swam Cello, and I will, um, initially when I opened the app, I didn't have this channel, so I clicked here, pressed here. No, that's not what I pressed. Um, pressed here, and I opened a new MIDI track, and I put uh, Velocity Keyboard there, and um, then I linked uh, Velocity Keyboard as the input to Swam Cello, and yeah, I love this app, but I'm not going to rate it right now. Uh, and now I'm ready to start playing. No, I'm not. I got to go up two octaves. Okay, now ready to start playing. Um, so there's a there are a few setup things that I like to do. Um, let's start with a kind of a default preset, MPE bass. Um, and of course the problem with this as you just saw is uh, you need to go up a couple octaves. The next thing is the lowest note on the cello is a C so I'm gonna set the lowest note to C. Good. Uh, we're getting closer. Uh, what else have we got to say here? Um, the next thing is what we want to do with um, aftertouch. So on the iPad, we don't have a touch sensitive screen, but we can use the contact area between your finger and the screen to estimate. So this, this would be a, touching with the tip of my finger is a low value for touch radius. And as I, as I flatten my finger out by pressing harder, you can hear that the app is responding to that. So uh, the way I usually like this to work is I like this to be on polyphonic aftertouch. Um, and obviously that's not quite working over here because it hasn't been configured for that. So I can hit MIDI, vibrato, and I'll put vibrato on aftertouch and close it. And let's get expression also on aftertouch and close that and let's try again so now uh, and that works pretty well but I feel like it's a little bit too quiet when I when I press like this so I'm gonna not let this aftertouch go down to the lowest value And that gives me some, um, I think, what is a more reasonable level of expression. Now the next thing that I want to do with setting these two apps up is um, there's a problem with MPE. And this is strange. I'm not sure if it's an error or what's going on, but I'll show you the problem. So I play this note, and then I play the next note. And when I take the first note off, it kills the sound. Um, I went all through the Swam app. I, Swam app. Uh, I tried every setting. I can't figure out why it does this and I can't figure out how to turn it off. All I know is when we go to single channel polyphonic it stops doing it. That's really unfortunate because I would like to be using MPE but up to now I can't figure out how to make that work. So now the, the uh, app isn't stopping at the wrong place. Uh, the next thing, I don't really love this, um, this slide that's happening, portamento slide. Uh, and I don't like that because I could do that myself since I'm using Velocity Keyboard. So I'm going to go to, um, where do we find this? I want to turn the portamento off wherever that sits in this app. Anybody remember where I saw it just a minute ago? 
string tuning, you know, and all the stuff that's not available. Is it in Portamento? Ah, uh, there it is. Portamento max time. I don't need Portamento when I'm using a Velocity keyboard because um, I can do Portamento like this. Uh, well, in theory, I can. But um, now I have a nice legato transition instead of Portamento, which is what I want. Um, so what else do I need to change to get this working properly? Well, I can hear this isn't working. And the reason that's not working is that the bend range in the SWAM instrument is at 2, so I'm going to set it to 2. I usually like to have a bigger bend range, um, and I didn't see where the... Um, Modes. I'm looking, is there a, a bend range adjustment in here? Should be under MIDI, right? Breath control. This stuff's kind of. The scroll seems kind of difficult for me to use. Um, I, I don't see it offhand if, unless I'm missing it. Um, maybe bend range is stuck at two, I don't know, or maybe I just haven't found the control yet. Um, at, at any rate, at least I've got that much uh, portamento that I can do with my hand. Um, the next thing that I would like to do with this app is when I play Velocity Keyboard, um, I like to do my own vibrato. So I would like to... This full screen, there we go. I would like to not have this vibrato assigned to anything, so I'm just going to unassign it, close it, and set it to zero. And the reason why I do that is because when I play velocity keyboard, I got to turn this so it's at a good angle for my hand. Um, I do my vibrato like this. <laughs> find that uh, as a guitar player that seems like a more natural way to do vibrato I, I played also play violin and fretless bass so that that feels like a vibrato to me of course if you don't like doing vibrato that way you can um, go back and assign it um, another interesting thing that we can we can experiment with that actually I quite like working with is uh, free pitch so right now I'm in mono row mode, which means um, each row of, of keys uh, has a, is able to uh, output one note, which is the way a stringed instrument works. You can't play two notes on one string unless you're doing something very clever. Um, but uh, this has pitch correction. So if I'm here and I start to, I start to slide out of this note, it's you can see it was still holding on pitch, but we have a free pitch mode, um, which allows us to let's get some more notes on the screen. Uh, nine columns in free pitch mode, uh, it follows your finger exactly whatever you do, and we got to go up two octaves again. So now there's now there's no pitch correction, and you're responsible for playing in tune by how you touch the the uh, notes. But this is kind of nice because now now your portamento does whatever you want it to, and your um, vibrato again is totally under your control. You're not fighting against a pitch correction. But you have to be careful with your uh, with the way you play if you if you um, play that way. So let's go back to uh, strings mono row. Um, is there anything else that we need to change about this? Um, we've got the legato working. I'm gonna check what else did I? There was there was a bunch of stuff I changed when I first opened up this app, but I think that is. I think that is all of it. 
Um, what about polyphony? Yeah, so I, I, I like this double polyphony so that I can play double stops. Because um, if you, well, here's with polyphony. Oops, back up two, two octaves. So I can play a double stop then. Uh, unfortunately, because we're not in MPE mode because of the problem I discussed earlier. If you slide when you're playing two notes, both notes will slide instead of instead of doing an independent slide. But that's um, that's the unfortunate consequence of not not using MPE. Um, but. But I, I really like being able to play the um, double stops when I want to. So I think, um, I think that's certainly enough to get us started using this app. Um, and obviously there are a lot of other settings that we might want to mess with, but uh, I think that, that covers most of them. Um, what else might we want to, just, just for fun, like we could, uh, well this would be nice, let's, let's assign bow pressure to after touch and see what that does. I've got to turn sideways again. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I actually like that better than the expression control. Um, so I think we will uh, end the video here, and uh, I hope this has been helpful to you in getting uh, SWAM instruments working with Velocity Keyboard. If anybody knows how to get those instruments before I end the video, if you know how to get them to not, not do that string release error, error that I get when I go back to MPE, where's my MIDI modes, MIDI output, MPE, Yeah, if you know how to stop that um, error, please let me know because I would really like to know about that. And I'll go back to single channel polyphonic. And then um, just one last thing, if I were uh, using Velocity Keyboard like this, I would probably um, save myself a preset uh, for SWAM instruments here now that I've set everything up. And another thing is in the most recent uh, version of Velocity Keyboard, it now saves your settings when you save um, the session in AUM. So even if you didn't save a preset, all the configuration will be saved if you just do that. Um, or even if you didn't save, if you closed AUM, you could reload your session and get your stuff back. Uh, if you've liked this video, uh, do us a favor and hit that like button so that YouTube will um, prioritize us in, in people's feeds. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.